Another topic um, that came up recently is um, how you hold interest in a deed, or in a different way to say it is, how do you own the property within a deed? So there are three different ways. You can hold it with tenants in common, joint tenants, or tenants by the entirety. The main difference between joint tenants and tenants in common is with tenants in common, if you pass away, your interest will be passed on to your heirs. Where if you have joint tenancy, it will be passed on, or if you pass away, it will be passed on to um, the other joint tenant or tenants. With tenants by the entirety, that's only for married couples. They hold equal interest in the property. It's not a 50-50 split. They actually own 100% and 100%. And that as well, if one pass or if one spouse passes, then the other one will still have ownership of the property. That's great. So those those three types of ownership interest, it's for two or more. Yes. Because you can own a property individually. It's kind of a good way to own it. Then you don't have any other issues afterwards. Um, and the takeaway I would say for this is to make sure you have a good understanding of how you own this property. Are you going to be owning it with your siblings as a tenant in common where your heirs have some rights or you're going to be holding it jointly so that if one of the siblings passes, the rest of the siblings are going to share that. Think that makes sense? Yes. All right.